That's why it's time to get it on. Put your big boy shorts on. It's time for a man size workout. If you like the workout, make sure you support the channel and hit that subscription, subscription, god damn I can't say that, subscription button at the bottom. A lot of people skip the important part which is bodybuilding is going to be the base of everything. So a lot of people skip actually building up, you know, the tactical shield, the tactical you know, traps, shoulders and stuff they need to carry stuff around but then we need to apply it and actually move that in motion and carry stuff around, you know? Just because you can't look the part to an extent, you have to be able to move, yeah. but you can't move if you don't have muscle. Not only he looks the part, but you get weight in his hands and he's actually moving around with it for distance. And if he needs to use it in real world application, he's carrying folks, he's dragging stuff. Yeah. Yeah, carrying folks, dragging stuff, what, what do you do? Firefighter or something? Uh, special reconnaissance. Uh, special tactics in the United States Air Force. Yeah, I can get you on a video. Yeah. 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 As long as he's not wearing like his uniform with like his name, it's pretty much his consent. Okay. Uh, see, our thing too is like a lot of people, they make the mistake, they go for how long can I work out? Right. We go for how much shit can we get done in an hour, right. and we go for total density. That's the same right now, that's the same concept I take, and this is a good one. Now that uh, I'm not competing, you know what I mean, and not worried about so much body parts, more or less body parts, and improving body parts and stuff like this, and I can just train and have fun. So I like to not have a whole lot of time. You know, I stay focused and I just motor through it and have the best workout I can have. Your workouts are way better too when you do that. Right on the money. Roll. Yeah. So every day before we start up, we do a giant set, just quick warm up. Um, we want to prime some of the muscles we're going to be using. We want to distract some of the stuff that gets overused. So Jerry's gonna start out with belt squat walks. These are fucking the best glute builder you'll ever do. Okay. So whether you're trying to get your squat up, your deadlift up, or just carry heavy shit far like Jerry, we're gonna load up on these. Um, and then we're gonna take that with some side bands, just get filling on that, and then we start out every workout in that. These okay. dudes, they're carrying heavy shit on their head, they're carrying heavy shit far. So we gotta have that neck to last the whole career. So that's something we do at the start of every workout. So this is great too for anybody who's rucking a ton, anybody who's carrying a lot of heavy shit a ton. It's good because we're taking a little bit off the spine and getting the hips ready for those heavy loads without wearing down the spine. So when a guy's coming back from the lower back injury, we'll actually use this machine or different setups like it and I'll adjust these pins. So we're doing rack pulls so they're learning how to reuse leg drive on deadlift. So when a guy's coming back from a severe, you're doing rack pulls, you're also wow. push through that floor and reintroduce leg drive so as they're doing the rack pulls, yeah, that's been big for our for you know all guys coming back back injuries who want deadlift heavy. The timing on it on getting the upper back timed with the hips, yeah. there's nothing like it. Dylan, you son of a bitch. So the big thing that we see people mess up the most on these is we'll dress the bat at first, is a lot of times people kind of, they half-ass the pick and they forget if you really want to get good at a former walking carrying stuff, have a good deadlift first, build up your deadlift, then run with it. 
So the big thing is you got to have a strong pick, a strong deadlift, and then get set and move. But a lot of people they'll do with some round back shit or some goofball shit, and they go way too light on these two. That's a big problem. Take these heavy, run with it, pick it proper. But so for the warm ups, I'm not going to exhaust myself, and we're not going to hit the distance we're going to be doing. We're going to do a couple picks and just walk a couple steps, walk it back. That way we're fresh for our heavy carries. I want to get whenever you're going to pick something up and move with it um you know in practical application we need these dudes to think about how i'm going to handle that and move it most efficiently so i want to line these up where they're pointing a little bit and on my grip i'm actually going to hug back a little more on the handle okay. so i have a tilt okay i don't want the tilt going against me okay so that way so you're moving towards the tilt yeah so that way when he actually needs to use it he doesn't have to think about this when he needs it in real time he can figure stuff out really quick. How am I going to pick it up and move with it? Woo! What I'm doing, we talked about a lot of different ways. We'll try to add a little difficulty to carries. Is this going to help us with our speed? And also it's going to kind of mimic when you have to go up terrain or hills. So if I'm practicing if these dudes got any mountain trips coming up, we're gonna do a lot of carries against sleds. So they're getting that timing and that foot speed for up hills. This is training, baby. many carries so you don't want to take big steps because think about like when you're walking on ice if I take that big step on ice I'm gonna eat shit so when I'm carrying heavy shit if I take a big step and get outside my center of mass that's a bad day for your knee and hip so I want to take short choppy steps as fast as I can that's where the sled comes in that's where that practice come in what we did over there it all works in its own way in unison Octane, all gas, no stop, baby. <laughs> bodybuilding gap is so big on this, on why the tactical athlete, air and ground needs bodybuilding so much, is we're not able to do this if we don't have this fucking shield back here to carry for us. So that's why that bodybuilding gap is so big to close in on for these tactical athletes. You can't flex bone, you can't stretch bone, and people forget how you're moving is muscle. So you got to build the shit and then move with it. Yep. things also is I'm nervous so every nerve right now is firing I'm like shaking inside every you know what I mean because it's something new and you don't want to fail you know what I mean but it, this is so disturbing I can't get over it you know before I could when I was competing I didn't give a shit about the stuff but now I don't know I focus in on it a little bit more it's different different time oh well 
tight, lag tight trap. Yep. Squeeze. Deflex it. Deflex it. Deflex it. Try it. Deflex it. Yep. Just in this line. There you go. Three, two. Yep. yep. There you go. All right. There we go. Fuck yeah. Only took me three tries. That's all. supposed to go behind that bag. He, he believes in you. He thinks you're good for it. Holy shit, Batman. His fight or flight, and I ain't going nowhere. Deadlift is going to carry over to all the events. So, if you want to get good at carrying something, you got to pick it up off the ground first. So, if you got a good base, you know, if you want to do this stuff, start doing it, but you got to build up your lats and you got to build up your ass. You can't, our lats are going to be the biggest stabilizer. People forget. The reason we have lats is to stabilize the spine and the shoulders. And that's the whole reason you have them. And our ass is our strongest mover. You go watch the Olympics, you're not gonna see a sprinter with a small ass. Lats and ass are gonna be everything to everybody. And this is a little bit of an advanced technique on this if you have this machine, cool. We have it today, so we're gonna smoke it if you got it. Um, I'm gonna get tension, pull it off. What I'm gonna do is learn how to pick it up from the ground. And I'm gonna, like we were talking about where we converted over there, bringing that sled. I'm gonna learn how to use my hips on that pick because when I take it from the ground and get it up to my shoulder or get it to my chest, my ass is gonna be the mover for that. So figuring this out, I wanna grab it here and here. I'm getting it to my lap and then bringing it up with trap. I'm gonna pick this for a second. And I'm just doing carries. And you're gonna feel this in your whole posterior. My upper back's fried, my ass fried on this. And then when Jerry will tell you when we're learning a new object, we'll do some picks and carries where I'm learning how to use my hips. And if you're warming up for an event or that day of training, this is a great triple extension. So I'm coming up on toes, I'm trying to get it over an object. So from here and cleaning it up, which is hitting some carries and then hit like six of these cleans. Track in with my hips and upper back. Come around from the back so you can see. He's actually, when he does the, does the cleans, he's bracing with upper back, but he's coming through toes, so bring in your stance and do six of those cleans. But he's coming up on toes, so he's learning the timing all the way up from calf to trap. How it all work together. Two more. Okay, let's do carry. In this one, we're learning to have to be strong in that front position, so it's a ton of ab, a ton of trap, a ton of glute. So on this, we're learning how to pick it, lap it, Clean it, carry it. All four different movements, but we need to learn how to do them all together. So think this whole time, think trap, 
and think how we always talk about, how you always talk about rows, lead with the elbow. When you're getting that to your lap, lead with the elbow. Hug into it with trap. <clears throat> Yeah, don't worry about the toes. Think about squashing your feet through the ground. So think of glutes to upper back. And not every gym has a keg. Again, thank you, MJ. So if you don't have a keg, you got a belt squat, do zercher holds on this. Barbells, the stronger we can get in the front, the more practical we're going to. Hold on, let me oh. crack you on this. Yeah, I forgot. Whew. There's not a part of my being that's not vibrating right now and screaming. You know, give me more, you sick son. Boy, watch your mouth. I had to throw on my big boy pants. We're going to do some big boy training. Woo! Show us! Because that's why with the belt, it really is a cheat code to teach us how to learn to use our hips. Yeah. Because I can plant through the ground, really isolate the hips to get that triple extension and overextend. It's a good confidence tool for anybody coming back for injury or anybody coming to do movements like this for the first time you've never done this right and you get confidence because you're learning what muscles to use yep. that's the whole thing guys is you know, I always said there's 50 million ways to work out you got to find which one works out for you um, but I'll tell you what you know um, this is for sure has uh, awakened a lot of muscles within myself within my body that you know been dormant for a while um, and I really appreciate uh, Jordan coming out today and training with me and put me through this because, uh, wow, um, I got a lot of side to put down, and this is going to help me get through it. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Can you go loose? Yeah. There you go. Hips to upper back. Whoa. <clears throat> nice. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 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 Uh, all day. Uh, 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 fuck. Oh my god. Everybody thinks functional is trying to fit in a fucking suitcase and you know do all these goofball circus so leg stretches. Right. Functional is moving shit in odd ways and moving it far. That's what this is the true definition of functional. Everybody needs to redefine it. It's moving heavy shit and moving within odd positions is functional. Yep. I have an 80 year old, 80 year old client and uh, guy's a he's, he has he's a world record holder and deadlift and uh, one of the things that he. Uh, uh, says a lot of times is the worst thing you can do is uh, to stop, stop squatting, the stop bar squatting, um, because it's functional. It's what they, we have to do, get up out of a chair, get up out of your car, you know what I mean? Uh, all day long, go up and down stairs, and you need those muscles, you need that strength, you need those ligaments and tendons to be healthy and be strong to be able to handle all that, no matter what age you are. And the older we get, the more we need our muscles and our ligaments and tendons to be healthy and strong. So why the hell would you get away from something that helps you stay functional the rest of your life? So, people want to do this in their garage, go make friends with your local pub, go get these when they throw them out, pop top, fill it up with sand, fill it up with rocks, you got yourself a free load of cake. Yeah, Jerry, don't be fooled, Jerry just made that. You know, the sled plus the weight on his set was 300 pounds. He made that look pretty easy. Yeah, really easy. So he's got 300 on his hips, 
Plus that big ass yeah. cake. I don't know why he took the weight off there. I guess he think I'm a punk or something. Oh, you know, want I, can't that handle, I can't handle it, but that's all, that's all right. I, I understand. I'm over here dying. I Jerry, what are you doing? I understand. I was like, damn, he just. He was like, let me, uh, you didn't think he, was good <laughs> he was like, let me put this little boy, uh, let, let, me, let, me let me correct the weight for this little boy over here. Jerry be sneaking like that. <laughs> I don't want to hurt him. <laughs> so. There you go. Oh, yeah. Nice trap, baby. Look at that shit. No mice, just traps. All day. Squeezing, bracing. Huh? Yeah. Pull that shit in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking night. Fucking night. There you go. Mind you, only done one set that heavy. They've done two, three rather, heavier. So it's big time. The big thing Jerry can tell you better than anybody is we're mimicking that breathing when they're wearing kit because these guys are never performing slick. So that's why, you know, that hamster wheel bullshit's kind of useless because you're never not under load. So Jerry's always performing, carrying something, holding something, wearing something. This mimics breathing in that. So he's working all those muscles, but also getting used to breathing with heavy implements. I'm sorry, I know this is a family show, but getting in shape like this, I'm gonna be a sex machine, baby. Woo, you gotta love that. <laughs> Why do you think we're doing all that triple extension? <laughs> triple extension. <laughs> We always do a chest supported because I got to save these guys lower backs going into the field. So we'll always do some type of seal row, an incline dumbbell row or a chest supported row, save the lower back and really dial in on the upper back. So what we're going to do, go ahead and hop on and we're going to do a descending pause set. We always switch up the tempo. So we're going to go six reps. First rep is going to be a six count at that peak pause. So keeping the elbows high. Here we go. Holding at that peak contraction. Six, five, four, hold it. Three, two, down. Oh, you mean hold it? Yeah. Down. Okay. Next one, hold. Five, four, three, two, down. Next one, four, three, two, down. Next one, three, two, down. Next one. Two, down, last one. Pause, down. Woo. So we're always switching up the tempos on those. We'll do pauses, eccentrics, time under tension. So we got a nice little descending pause wave on that. Let's go, wanna go right into it? What's that, uh, no. yeah. So we'll show you. Yeah, what's next? High shrugs. On these, you can do these with a barbell, a safety bar. This is a big upper back workout we do for our guys. You know, always in kit, we got to build up those traps. So he's going to do 20 reps, just shrugs right off the top ropes. hitting every angle like we were talking a little earlier converts to other stuff uh -huh. learn how to hit every angle that might have gone over some people's heads <laughs> so we're going to hit the rear delts and upper back on this one we're going to do swinging laterals or sorry rear flies you can do this chest ported so what we're going to do let me show you real quick here i love this machine again thank you mj but we can either do this on dumbbells chest supported i'm just going to go wrist in on here get a little lean I'm gonna relax, pull into it. 
going to hit 20 of those again. So watch from the back. He's going to relax at that bottom portion, take advantage of that stretch, and then push out. It's a big upper back building we use for our guys. And notice he's pushing out, not up. So he's trying to reach my hand and really isolate here on that upper back. Ah! <sighs> oh. Yeah. Hey, Hi, BB Pro, John Neal Jackson here. Thank you guys so much for joining us in in this workout. Like I said, during the workout, I've learned so much. I feel so good. It should be wrong to work out this hard and feel better than you did before you started working out. Because I always say the best part of working out is when you finish. Absolutely, this time is the truth because I feel better because of the workout. I usually say it because I'm tired and I want to finish. And thank God it's done, but man, this is awesome. Like I said, thanks for joining. Make sure you guys go on and register for Johnny O. Jackson Classic, August 26th. And make sure you're coming out and see the world's strongest operator. As you can see, this is man movement. I got my big man pants on. And I got my big ass man, my big man ass handed to me also. So thank you, Jordan. Appreciate you. Woo. We had a blast, guys.